Hi guys. Hi. I love this little wavy hand thingy still. It's so cute. Hi. Hi back to Heidelberg. I'm good, how are you? I'm very excited. Nervous as always. I think those nervousness ne never really goes away. Hi. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm actually meaning that, how are you? I really wanna know how you are. Oh, thank you. How do I, oh, yeah, now I can see your comments a little better. San Francisco, oh my God, I love San Francisco. Good morning to you too. It's 4 p.m. here, but good morning. Oh, thank you. Freshly colored. Not the best because <laughs> no hairstylist around. Uh, so many cute comments. Wave. Hi. Nice to see you too. Wow, Kentucky. I was in Louisville uh, uh, two years ago. It was amazing there. Bex, be happy that you have snow. I'm waiting for snow to happen, so shut up. <laughs> Ellie! Damn Wisconsin, you're early. I'm I'm happy to see you here. Beetlejuice wives, yeah, I love Beetlejuice. <laughs> Such a sucker for Beetlejuice, Tim Burton in general. Ellie, give me all your snow. I'm waiting. The Ville. That's really cool. I was on a festival that we worked there with Slipknot. It was kind of fun. Woo! Thank you. All the compliments. Hi, Maryland. Seven AM California. Oh my god. You're very early for a Sunday. Half of my family lives in California, so woo. What camera and lens do you use? Right now this is my phone. <laughs> so Hey, so everyone say hi to Owen. Oh, and is also here. <laughs> well, the moment you've all been waiting for. The book. It is here. And I, I'm just, I'm just as shook as you are. You can see it's not like a tiny small book. It's a hardcover book. So yes, it is here. And this is the first page. And oh my God, I love it so much. Yes, I am exactly as excited as you are because I never had a book where my name is on it. So, um, I'm just, 
I'm just, it's surreal to me. So I think once you get that book, please take a picture of the book with your hand or something, please, because I am still in shock um, that there is a book. Um, I hope I can do that so you can at least see that there are a lot of pictures in it. Lot, lots of pictures. Hope that's seeable. And we have some quotes in there. I don't know if you can see them. Um, basically about the idea of art. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's still surreal to me. You can see that I'm still struggling with words because it's, I'm promoting my own book here, which is so weird. Um, but yeah, the only thing, of course, there's a but as always, this is not the final version because as you can see, I don't know if you can actually see it, it's basically a layout thing. This, the names are not centered for some reason. The printing didn't go well on this one. And um, that happened to three or four things in the book. So we changed the layout a tiny bit, but it will still be the same cover. You will still recognize the book. There's also a quote on the back from, from George Shaw, which we love. Can I buy 10,000 of them? Of course you can. <laughs> Go to the shop, buy them all. <laughs> I won't hold you back. Um, yeah, so it's real. It's here. It's just... <sighs> what I really love about it is that um, it's really good quality. It's, uh, like, I don't know if you can actually see that, but it's... The pictures, hold on, I will show you a picture that I really love and then you can see the quality of it. This is a picture I really love. And as you can see, it's not overly shiny, so you won't see your own fingerprints on there, but it's still matte. And yeah, I just, I just love it. It's just, ugh. What happened to those not printed well? Uh, it's actually the only one. It's, you get a first draft, basically, like a, an example of how it would be, how it would look like. And we obviously said, please, no, uh, this is wrong. So um, change this and that. And hopefully from next week on, it will be the right version, which we will send out to you. So this is not going to be sent out with the wrong centered names and stuff. <laughs> that's really cool I've never even thought about uh, being excited about a picture book either trust me it's 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 surreal this is an amazing picture I love it is that is that weird if I say that it's an amazing picture especially when I do it myself sounds weird right <laughs> uh, where can we buy it you can buy it on uh, reynapix.com there's a shop you go over there, you click on the package you'd like. Uh, I think the diamond package is nearly sold out. And um, yeah, then you get your own picture, uh, uh, your own book. My uh, tripod is broken, so I'm sorry if you saw my boobs. Not really. Thank you. Yeah, I am actually very proud because I didn't think that it's going to happen. Um, especially in times like these. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a huge thing. I got a lot of questions yesterday. I printed them out because obviously I'm using my phone right now with you being live. So, uh, I'm going to start and reply to some. How are you guys dealing with this repetitive never ending lockdowns? Not well. <laughs> uh, it's it's it starts to be annoying. Hold on, I have to 
center you here. Doesn't work. Great. Yeah, like I said, my tripod is broken. I'll just hold you on my hands, I guess. Uh, hold on. Um, how do I do that? Um, it's 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 getting tougher and tougher to be in a lockdown because obviously you wanna you know you wanna talk to people you wanna um I don't know you would just wanna go to a restaurant this is what I'm missing the most just going to a restaurant really I really miss that just eating with my friends like for lunch time doesn't even have to be like a long time but yeah um so that would be nice to just do that again and um i don't know it's just it's like life as we know it is just gone it's it's weird it's it could be could, i don't think that i will ever get back to normal but it should be like a little easier So, um, what is the most important impression you want to leave in the world? I think I just want to make um, the world a little bit more beautiful with pictures, if that makes sense. Um, especially for those who maybe can't be there at that moment um, on festivals, concerts, or in um, some some i don't know some other beautiful event so yeah that would be that would be something um all the clothes henrik is wearing in foot in the photos seem quite familiar for the fans is there any reason I did not know that. <laughs> um, how so? How does it... Uh, how does it... Uh, how's it familiar to you? I, I didn't know that. Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Henrik. <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm letting you freak out for a second. So many questions. <laughs> hey Alma, uh you can actually um you can actually buy a, a signed version. <laughs> I don't even know what to say because everyone is freaking out. This is so cute. <laughs> Hi, Rina. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? You to join. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I'm amazed by all the comments. They are so cute. They yeah. are really cute. Well, it's yeah. it's so so nice. Yeah. So nice to see you all. Well, this is amazing. Like the the people watching it went from seventy to one thousand in like a second. Oh oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is. I'm getting nervous here. I'm really nervous. There's so many people. Oh my god. Well, don't be there. Uh, they're nice. Yeah, they're very nice. I. It's just amazing how beautiful and nice they are. Yeah. Well, we had a question uh, from a from a person. Um, I forgot the 
Name. Mm. What was the most challenging thing during um, during the photo shoots in London for you? Uh, well, it was of course all the restrictions and uh, well, we were kind of locked. Yeah. In. But at the same time, like, yeah, we had to go to all the, those places where there were no people at all. And um, yeah, it was kind of strange to, it was also my first time in London. So experience it like that. It was, yeah, absurd. I think. It was, it really was. Even if you were there beforehand, if you know London before the pandemic, it was very surreal to see Piccadilly Circus like completely empty um, or uh, the, I don't know, just the neighborhoods. No one is walking around, um, around the hotel even. It was really, really surreal. Yeah. Yeah, so we're basically at our hotel rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the hardest part for me was to get food because all we had was literally takeaway because not even the hotel offered food. Yeah. It's... Uh... That was really you. A lot of takeaway lately. But also, yeah. Yeah. for me, this has encouraged me to cook a lot of meals. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I became a really good cook for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> that inspired us. But, yeah. Yeah. So, but in London, there was only, that was the only option. Uh, yeah, but we had awesome takeaway. Um, sometimes every I don't know if you remember the breakfast takeaway we once had. Um, I think it was uh, Alma something, Alma's breakfast. That was good. That was that, really good. Let's try some things at least. Yeah, exactly. No. Yeah, I think. But that was the hard. What part. was what was the best part for you? It's kind of funny because um, visiting, it was kind of the best and the worst part in one uh, because it was so cool to see London uh, with all its culture, but also experience it in, it in a unique way where there were like only the three of us in a square with no people. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it was beautiful, but also strange because you're so used to the, the people, especially in uh, uh, big cities like London and New York. Yeah. And no people at all. It, it just, it's not built to be like that, I think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's like so this it's not- metropolis that should be like vibrant and full of people and then all of a sudden you have it, you, it feels like you have it for yourself, like no one else is there. Yeah. Um, but it's not what it's meant to be. It's, it should be vibrant and full of people and full of cultures, different things like coming together in one. Yeah. So yeah. Was, but also kind of beautiful. It's a, it's a huge contrast, I think. I think what I was amazed by was I, I, I lived in London before and I lived near London before and I haven't seen that many animals around the town than in that time when we were there. That was very cool. Yeah. We saw a fox. Yeah. And uh, what more did we see? Oh, the, uh, the eagle. The eagle, that was so cool. Yeah, in the middle of Piccadilly Circus, there was a person uh, with an eagle, and I think they were that like a trained eagle um, for for getting mice or anything um, around that uh, around the place. But it was a huge, beautiful bird, and it was just so surreal to see it in the middle of the city. I've never seen that before. Me neither. Uh, it, it was, yeah. That was also very special. I think it was either a eagle or a hawk. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was surreal. I, yeah, they used them to hunt down mice or something. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
Do you have a favorite picture? Um, not in the book, but which we took. Maybe it is in the book, but the like the favorite place we were. Um, favorite place we took a picture. Uh, well, you know, I like the one with um, the stone room. Yes, in in the Natural History Museum. Yeah. Yes. That was special, um, with all all kinds of stones from all around the world that they're lying there beautifully behind glass and like and it was kind of symbolic with that I think yeah uh, that's uh, that's how I've been feeling lately <laughs> stone behind glass <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yeah well at least you don't have visitors looking from the outside in right so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that um, that museum was beautiful and um, also extremely empty. I think it was the the day before lockdown, so there were not a lot of people um, running around. So it was pretty empty. Mm. Um, I think I loved the butterfly section a lot. All the pictures we took there it looked so beautiful, and yeah. at the same time also weird because you're standing in front of a lot of dead animals <laughs> but it's still like this you don't get too so close to anything lately so i i miss museums a lot even art museums history museums everything that's that's something i really miss during this pandemic going just going to a museum and even if it's just for an hour to just look at something yeah nice absolutely. to look at the dinosaurs yeah, <laughs> the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, that was my um, they they were actually asking for me to show our beautiful pictures we took again, um, or that actually were taken of us um, before, like in front of the green screen, with the oh <laughs> the no, <cheering. laughs> they were horrible. <laughs> I forgot those. Oh, they're so bad. <laughs> They're really, really bad. Yeah, they kind of uh, fit perfect with the picture, picture, don't they? Yes. Can we see? Should I, should I take? Yes, of course. Um, let me check <laughs> where they are. Yeah. I have to leave you here for a second. You can see my beautiful couch. <laughs> Oh, the worst pictures in the world. I need a new tripod. If anyone has a new tripod for me, I need a new tripod. So, oh God. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so oh, bad. It's just perfect. It's just, yeah, it's, it it's like something it else. To fit what we were doing or something. Uh, wait, there's another one. This beauty. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is amazing. Ooh, that was my dog, by the way. I'm sorry. Hey! <laughs> Nudging on me. Are you being attacked? Yeah, I'm being attacked by this beautiful... Hello, say hello. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that was a big thing for us being like being in that museum i loved it i wasn't before i didn't see the picture uh, the the museum before that i've never visited and um also for the art museum uh the victorian albert museum we were in i loved it so much and i wish we could have stayed longer yeah me too that would have been yeah um it's hold amazing. on let me hmm? We just made it, I think, with the yeah. restrictions and everything. Um, uh, there's a question about any places you wanted to uh, take photos but couldn't because of COVID. Is I that don't... for me or for you? I, I think, think for the both of us. Uh, well, I, I guess I guess it would have been nice to shoot around Big Ben or something, like a landscape or the Tower of London, but there was a lot of restri restrictions around there. Mm, um, yeah. yeah, but um, and I would have have I we I remember we were in a restaurant in a 
I think it was a Lebanese restaurant. I would have loved to take pictures there, but it was kind of crowded for some reason. Um, but it oh, looked uh, the the where we bought a cookbook. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the whole place looked so fun and so, I don't know, it just had a nice vibe. I would have loved to take pictures there. Yeah, why didn't we? Because it was full, full with people. Right. Yeah. Next time, I guess. Yeah. I thought the question was like in general where I want the pictures. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, in general, maybe... Um, I guess everywhere, like everywhere yeah. in the world. It doesn't really matter where. Traveling. Yeah, just travel and see places, take pictures and um, I don't know, see different cultures. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, that would be nice. I had so many questions. It's like, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't, uh, you were so prepared. <laughs> I printed them out because obviously I'm using my phone right now. Um, what did you guys to do to stay calm with the excitement or are you just freaking out like us? We're freaking out. We we just we yeah. have a book. <laughs> yeah, we we've been freaking out for a couple of days. Yes. And uh, uh Oh, there was a question about um, um, about what the best part of the process was that I liked a lot. Mm, well, um, it was the part with London, of course, uh, but I also had fun uh, creating the book with you and uh, seeing what we've been able to uh, deliver as a product. And yeah. Some, uh, for someone to experience this with us and I think it's become a, a good representation of what I think did. the the last the last time we um we actually my light just broke down sorry um the last time we we spoke about the um layout the last basically version we sent in yeah I I love that because we were both so happy in the end with how it turned out and then there was this click like yes this is how it's supposed to look like this is it this is what we can send out this is what it's going to be printed and i love that i was so happy it was i think it was 3 30 in the morning but i felt asleep doing like oh, okay this is this is it this is this is perfect we can we can actually put our names under this and this looks awesome that was my favorite moment yeah, me too. That was a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I never seen so many people want to marry someone. You get so many proposals here. This is insane. <laughs> this is so cute. I just see like a thumbs up or something. <laughs> this I is got, so I cute. Wow. This is adorable. Oh, from Brazil. Oops. Sorry. This is. I'm. I could literally just sit here, looking at the comments because there are people from California, from 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 Brazil, from China, from Japan. It's insane. It's just yeah, it's, so uh, many people coming together because of a book, and this is so beautiful. It's truly. World is represented here. Yeah. Live events, I think. And, uh, what do you what what would all. Yeah. What would you like to um as a reader, what do you think um someone should take from that book? Well, um a book um uh, well pictures says so much um in itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was bad English, but a picture <laughs> says a lot of things in itself. Um, and um, well, we're trying to ex express the feeling um, that uh, we had this 
period of time. And yeah. uh, as we've been talking about how we're going to look back at it. So I think it's going to affect us differently now than it will in a half a year, a couple of years. I think it's going to change with time. Yeah. And um, I'm glad we were able to produce something in this time. Yeah. And uh, pushing boundaries, our own boundaries, and seeing what we can do. Yeah. So, and yeah, and uh, I'm very satisfied with work and with cooperating with you. So I think we had a good time and yeah. did some good work. People ask um, how we uh, started working together, which is... Well, that's a long story. <laughs> yeah, sort of. It, it's, it, well, we've, we've known each other for two years now. Um, and it's, it kind of started with animosity. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, uh, we met up, we, um, talked with the, um, with the director, Peter and the writer of the movie. And, um, we just wanted to be, to, to work together to get this movie done. And, um, since the pandemic started after, uh, we weren't able to we stayed in touch and we came up with new ideas i guess yeah that's that's the short story yeah that's a, that's the a short version of it yeah <laughs> we tried to, we tried to to um to work together before but basically the pandemic came between the shoots and everything we planned every time we had to change some plans or um couldn't even follow them through so yeah, yeah, because it originally the whole photo, um, the photo art of it started when you proposed to do another uh, yeah. book, with ha uh, which had a whole different team. But this was what, uh, kind of what, what half a year before COVID. Yeah. Um, so then we just had to adjust and see if yeah. we could represent something else. I think. Exactly. And uh, yeah, we actually wanted yeah. to start um, a book in March last year, and it was exactly two weeks. We wanted to meet up in London two weeks after um, the first lockdown happened. We had planned everything. We booked all the locations. We booked all the plane tickets. We had a different, completely different team. There was lots of people involved and we couldn't follow through with it uh, because of the first lockdown and everyone was kind of, they are still scared, obviously, but um, were was really scared because we we didn't really know what COVID was back then. And um, to see that it changed into, like even a year later now, we don't really have an idea about it other than that it's really bad. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's, it's I don't know. We, 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 some people played it down. It's like, oh, come on, we can still meet up because, you know, it's just, it's just like the flu and stuff like that. Even I thought it in the beginning. Um, and then I was really happy that we didn't actually meet up, even though we lost money and we lost time and we lost that project, which we, which I hope we can, you know, get back to in the future. But, um, yeah, it was, it was difficult. It, it was even difficult to do this book because, um, up until the last minute, it was not sh sure if we can actually meet up in London. Yeah. Things were changing all the time. Yeah. And it still does. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I just hope people are safe. And, yeah. yeah. I remember us uh, actually worrying about not being able to go home. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't fun. <laughs> no. So yeah, that was a well, difficult part. That was a difficult part in London, being scared about like checking the news every day about um, can we actually go back home? Is the flight still there? Is not like isn't isn't it cancelled and stuff like that? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it's strange times, I think. Uh, yes, definitely, definitely. But we made it. I can't wait to see it. Um, Same. I'm excited. Yeah, Henrik yeah. doesn't have the actual book yet, so it's the only that's version that exists. First, uh, that's just the first version of. First yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, next week is the 
last layout is going to be printed and then everyone is getting their version. Um, uh, cool. You can still buy it in the shop. Um, there's uh, a couple diamond packages left, I think four. Um, and a couple of um, the signed books are left as well. And um, yeah, I can't wait for everyone to see it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Awesome. Uh, it was so nice uh, joining you. Thank you. I have to get back. So to nice work. to see you. Yes, please do. It was nice to see all of you also. I hope we'll <laughs> see you soon. Uh, take care, okay? Stay healthy. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that was a surprise. I teased you a little beforehand, um, but uh, yeah, it was uh, a thing. You can, yes, you can buy the book worldwide. Um, if you have any questions, there's an email address, info at rainapix.com. Uh, like I said, you can um, buy um, every package, I believe. Not sure if the diamond bag should, package is actually still available. We The last time I checked, there was only four left. But um, maybe uh, maybe we can put more in the, in the shop. And um, yeah, that was a longer life than I expected. I just, I really just wanted to show you the book, but now we talked a lot. So um, yeah, I think, uh, should we do another live next week with the actual book? So yeah, how do you get into making books like that? You just take pictures, I guess? I don't know. I, I literally just took pictures and I thought, hmm, that's a lot of pictures. We had about 10,000 pictures. Let's make a book out of it. <laughs> so um, yeah, then you research your things. And we have an, a company, Casper's Foot Productions, who uh, has a team which uh, um, basically published it. Oh, I wish I could read Turkish and Chinese and Russian. It's like, you guys are awesome. You are amazing. I can buy the book in Argentina. Yes, you can buy it worldwide. It doesn't matter where you live, you can buy the book. Owen will sign your book. <laughs> I promise you, I will, make, I will personally make sure that Owen is going to sign your book. The title means, will you miss me when I'm gone? And it means basically, will you miss art when it's gone? Because we weren't able to do any art um, in uh, last year, especially when it comes to uh, to photography, um, it was really hard. So yeah, uh, it has a subtitle and says, um, the year art got lonely. Where can I rewatch this one more time? Oh, I'm going to save it, don't worry. Fancy doing it all again. You mean the book? Yes, I will do it again. Owen's signature in every book. Wow. Um, please send an please send an email to info at Rainer Pigs if you want Owen to sign your book, because I don't think that I, I or leave a note in your in your order. I'm not sure if he wants to sign all the books, but yes, I will make sure that he will sign some books. That's a beautiful concept. Thank, thank you. Oh, I still can't read Russian. You're awesome. <laughs> Can I be your apprentice? Uh, well, um, I think Casper's Foot Productions is actually open for, um, for applications, so sure. How long did you spend taking the pictures? Four days. Uh, we wanted to have some longer time, but it wasn't, we weren't able to because uh, the lockdown happened in England. It's difficult for Chinese fans to buy. Oh, how come? Um, we we do deliver to China, so uh, we're sending it out to China. 
But if, if, there any, if there are any difficulties, please let us know. We will make sure that you get the book. Uh, there are 120 pages in the book. Did I drink enough water today? Actually, my water's right here. But thank you for asking. What's your next, pro next project with Henrik? Uh, I'm, I think it will be uh, Animosität. I actually hope so. Um, but we can't go forward with anything uh, right now because of the pandemic. Did anyone recognize you there? Yes, actually, we were in the Natural History Museum and a fan um, recognized Henrik, which was very cute. She was very nervous. When is the ebook available? The ebook will be sent out the day um, the actual hardcover book um, is going to be sent out. So you will obviously receive the ebook before um, your. Uh, um, your actual book. What about Rise and Fall? Rise and Fall is actually the book that Henrik and I were just talking about. That was the project we wanted to do last March. So um, I hope that it's still going to happen, but it involved a huge team and a lot of locations. Um, so we have to plan that again. And obviously we have to have the money before that again, because all the money we spent on that project was a even even though it was a pandemic that got us uh, into that place that we are not being able to do it, we didn't get our money back. So we lost about 16,000 euros, I think. Um, but yeah, it was, I'd rather lose money than make, get, go and have a risk, risk of um, um, anyone getting COVID. Apart from photography, do you do any writing projects? I really can't. I can't write, so <laughs> I'm not a good writer. You should ask Bex for that. Bex Elliot, she's live here. She's the perfect writer. So, um, oh wow! So one more diamond package is gone. I literally I have no idea how many are left, but um, I will check um, if I can if I get more for you. This is probably the best life I've been having. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, let me know what it says in Russian. I really want to know. <laughs> I'm from Germany. Uh, you should do a shoot in the Norwegian landscapes. I, I really want to do a landscape shooting, actually, without any person. But to be honest, and I'm, I suck at landscaping pictures. I, I really do why black and white um uh, it's it's a preference i guess i love black and white pictures uh i prefer to take black and white pictures but um color is just as amazing how does the signing of the signing go of the books um well uh all the books you bought are going to be sent to my home and i will send them to henrik and then he will send them to you <laughs> If you come to DC, oh, I was in DC. I was in DC two years ago. That was a beautiful, beautiful moment. Even though you had a very weird president back then, he was very orange. Oh, black and white pictures are the best. I believe. I I, I believe so. Anytime coming to the USA. Well, as soon as um, we can travel safely, I would love to come back. I'm a Russian living in Germany. Hey, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Any advice for someone that wants to start photography? Just do it. Honestly, I, I never went to class or I never actually, I, I went to one class and I failed <laughs> in university. Um, but just, just do it. You will get better over time. Don't think that you're the best of the best in the first second because you won't and even after 20 years uh, that I'm doing it I'm still not the best of the best and I never will be because if you think that you are having the best picture and if you can't see any mistakes you made then you need a new hobby <laughs> 
because it will drive you to just to better, be better. Have you ever thought about coming to New Zealand? Yes, I worked in Australia for a couple of months on a project and I desperately wanted to come to New Zealand, but I didn't have any time. Yes, we have a pay it forward, pass it on project. Uh, you can also buy any package for someone else to make their day to, um, to uh, just pass it forward for people who don't have any money right now because of the pandemic. Maybe they lost their jobs. Just leave a note and say, pass it on and we will pass it to someone who was not able to get a package. You can also still apply uh, to get one of those packages in case you don't have money right now. I really wish you could do pictures of Henrik and Taye together. Well, um, they don't work together anymore. So uh, I never met Taye. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think that's gonna happen. I recommend Canon. I am, I, I work with Canon since 20 years, but I'm pretty sure Nikon is just as good. This is so cute. Um, well, we spent 45 minutes already together, which is amazing. I can't believe that you are still listening to me. <laughs> but um, I will uh, I will just schedule a new, another life with you, um, hopefully next week or the week after. And um, for anyone um, waiting for content for the CFP squad, the marketing class, um, it's coming next week, so we are on that. And um, yeah, just stay healthy and talk to you soon. And if you have any questions about the book, just send us an email. Our T guys will definitely reply to you. Oh my God, my English is gone. Um, so yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening and talk to you soon. Bye.